All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol ZOM, Zoometica Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back. And as we jump into this chart, I just want to make two quick announcements. The first one is I've created a Twitter account. The link is down below so you guys can follow me there. I will be retweeting anything that is important that I see out there on Twitter and also making my own tweets as well as notifying you guys about any videos you may have missed and not received a notification through here. I'll post it there and you guys will be notified and up to date on every single video that I post. The second announcement is stay tuned till the end of this video. I have a ticker symbol I want to share with you guys that I highly suggest putting on your watch list and I'll put the link of the full thorough analysis on that ticker symbol down below in the description as well. But let's jump into Zoometica Corp. So ZOM stock has actually been in some sideways movement now. So the tug of war is on. The 50 day moving average is coming back closer to the price. They've been trying to break through it. They fall right back down. They're hanging out below it. So right now the bears are dominating because this is slightly above the stock price, right? The 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average to be exact is 41.62. I can get that on there, but it's jumping around. But to be exact is 41.62. We're currently at 40 cents. So it's about a whole cent and a half above, right? To the thousands and hundreds place. But right now, what's looking good here is that it's holding itself up sideways here. It's not just collapsing. So we need to watch it carefully very very important moving forward we have to see these numbers the lows from yesterday still pretty important but this support level from yesterday to today definitely held itself up pretty well we're going to move this to its new location and we're going to see our new resistance level which is the highest point before the fall where it tried to come back up into bullish territory but it wasn't able to be done so I want every single investor, let's talk about this a little bit broader first, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more narrowed. But I want every single investor to keep in mind down here at 35 cents. I know it says 34.94, 34.99. I just round it up to 35 cents. Very important point. As long as we stay above it, bulls are holding themselves up pretty well, even though we're in bearish territory. Because remember, Zumatica came from way down here. And it was already in the works, moving its way up since like the middle of December, way back here at the 16, 15 cent range. And we're holding ourselves up at 40. That's a good sign. But it did collapse pretty fast from those highs of 58 and some change. Now, I want every single investor to be aware that the most important resistance level on the way up is up here at 52, 57. Or just to round it down or up, however you want to round it. If you want to round it down, 52 cents. If you want to round it up, 53 cents. But in that area, that's the most important resistance level moving forward because that's the highest point before this started to fall, right? That's the first bearish candlestick after the run. And that's how this leveling off has happened. Now, the good news is it's looking like it's having sideways movement and there's no true crazy collapse right now so we need to be mindful of these support levels and we need to see this stock hold itself up but the bulls definitely need to start breaking through resistance levels they need to start moving they need to start pushing upwards so they definitely want to break through the 50-day moving average but the resistance is much more important right now to break away into bullish territory so we're sitting at 39.75 and our support is 38.27 if that gets crossed, your next point of reference, obviously down here, as I stated earlier, 35 cents. But the first support level to worry about and pay close attention to is 38.27. If it breaks through it, you want to see how it's behaving and how quickly the stock is moving to newer lows or working its way down. Or are the bulls trying to reappear? Very, very important. Now, on the other hand, we have the 50 day moving average and then we have our resistance. Our resistance is 42 cents, but 
if you want to get it to the exact T, 4291, a lot closer to 43, but it is 4291 currently, and that is the most important resistance level to get into bullish territory and start to pull away from the 50 day moving average upwards. That's the first step above it, and that definitely needs to be broken through by the bulls to start momentum and work their way up further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction. So we wanna watch for this, and this is very important moving forward for the bulls. You wanna keep in mind these cues, and as always, I hope you guys found these cues helpful and informative, and for those of you that have stayed till the end of the video, the ticker symbol that I talked about yesterday, it's the same one today, and I did a full video on it, so if you guys want to see the full video and thorough analysis for any first time viewers or new viewers, Check it out down below. If you're a subscriber and viewer and you saw this yesterday, I'm just here to reassure you guys that this is a stock. If you haven't already, add it to your watch list. WBA, Walgreens Boots Alliance. I look forward to seeing anybody's comments down below on how they feel about Zoomedica Corp right now. Do you see what I'm seeing? The sideways movement. It's pretty healthy. Some consolidation. We just need to see the next catalyst. When it's coming, we also want to watch it hold itself up from the support levels and not just collapse. And for those of you that have already seen the video on Walgreens or kind of are surprised on why Walgreens, um, I, I look forward to seeing your guys' comments down below as well. And don't forget the link to the video where I do the full thorough analysis will be down below as well. Join the Twitter account. So that you guys won't miss a single video that I post and you guys can see what I tweet or retweet on what's going on about stocks. And if you learn something new, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell to not miss a single video and share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reach was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 33.88. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves, 
And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.